I think he has a point. I think there's a reason why you're supposed to marry before you carry, why you're supposed to have kids in wedlock and, you know, you, why you're supposed to only be with, you know, that even though people don't do it like that, people are all, all out of order, you know, they don't do it exactly like that. But I think there was a reason, uh, there's a, like, you know, a reasoning behind it, you know, cause I do think, and I don't know if I spoke on this recently or not, but I was talking, I was talking about how, you know, when women have been, or any men and women have been out here sleeping with this one and that one and that one, you do de develop a preference. You develop a certain way you like certain things and you go through a lot of men trying to do, you know, doing that. And even you're building that body count, which is not conducive in my opinion to healthy relationships, but you, you been with all these different men and now you develop a preference. So, you know, and this is what a lot of women are in search of like Tia Maurer. She's out here in search of finding out what she likes, what she don't like. So she may be, I don't know, subconsciously thinking of, you know, going out and experience different men because she was married young to her husband. So now she want to be out in the streets and that is not where it's at. But this is what I hear a lot of women saying. You got to try a whole bunch of different men to see what you like not realizing what you're really doing internally so you go through all of that and then you finish doing that and then you realize that you done messed yourself up you made yourself less desirable for a husband so say you do get a, a man a husband and then when you get your husband you want him to well now hell they talking about they gotta make sure all of that's intact before they marry him so even if you, if you, if you do get a husband and then you get him and now you're expecting him to do things the way, perform the way you, your, your, all your flings perform. You want him to, whatever you want him to do, he don't, he doesn't measure up or even vice versa. A woman doesn't measure up to the free, like he said, the freak of the week or the freaks of the weeks that you didn't had. Now you want your wife to be this, do what these freaks were doing. And if it ain't happening now, they ready to leave the marriage, you know, ready to go find you know, who, what they like and what they used to, you know, and then it, it causes a problem. So I think what he's saying there, there, there's, there's some reasoning behind it. I think that probably was the reason why you shouldn't have all these different, uh, you know, lovers because it, it kind of, you know, makes, you know, makes you, I don't know, it, it messes with the relationship that you do have. This is why also, I think that the longer you're single, especially as a woman, or it could be a man too, men and women. The longer you're single, and especially if you've been out there, you know, if you've put your body out there all over the place, it's going to be harder, specifically for women, to be with one man at some point. You you get older and you're with one man, you're going to have issues in that relationship. You're going to cause issues because you're not used to being with one man. You, you're used to spreading it all over. So when you get with one, you're going to cause problems because you're just not, even though you want it, you that's why I say a lot of women, you want something that you're not familiar with and you've been on the out in the on the market for so long, just giving it to everybody, and you're used to that. You're used to being single. You're used to moving the way you want. You're used to having your own space and all of it. You're used to having different partners. So when you get one partner and then y'all sharing space too and all that, oh, she's gonna lose her mind. A lot of these women are gonna have a problem with that. They don't, you know. It's cute when you see other people coupled up and living good. But when you try to do it, it's not going to be quite the same. And you're going to find fault in it. And this is why you do have married women who are leaving their husbands because they're not, they feel like something is better, but that's really you going against, you know, something that you're not used to. You're used to going out, even though you get tired of it, you're used to it. If that makes sense. That's a lot of the way women move. It don't make sense, but I get it. Cause a lot of times we don't make sense. It's not logical, but it's about feeling. So when you feel funny in your marriage or your relationship, you're ready to leave. And you, what they do, you go back to something that's familiar, even if it's not good for you. So it's not logical to go back to something that didn't call, that that was not that you were not happy with, but because of your feelings and because of familiarity or familiarity or however you say that word, you go back to what you're used to, even if it's a detriment to your success. This is why people pick the certain kind of guys over and over and over again, because you're familiar with that, even though it didn't work out for you. It doesn't bring you any prosperity. It doesn't lead you in the right direction, but because you're used to it, you keep going back. So you find women in 
good relationships or good marriages, they leave it because it's not familiar. You don't know what a, a stable home looks like. You don't know what a stable man looks like. You don't know what a, a peaceful household looks like. You're used to toxic toxicity. You're used to men coming and going. You're used to being outside all the time. You're used to doing things how you want it. You don't know what structure looks like. You don't know what stability stability looks like with a man. So it becomes boring. When you hear women in relationships talking about it's boring because you're not used to it. It's the best thing that probably ever happened to you, but you're not used to it. So you condemn it and then go back out on the streets. And then when you're back out there, you then again realize why you didn't want that in the first place. But now it's too late. That man, you done messed up a good relationship. You want him back and he's moved on because you done messed him up. And now he don't trust women because women will leave a good situation or a toxic, toxic situation because that's all they know.